How's it going everyone? Wild Thang here. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to find rotating gizmos in Save the World. Now if you don't know where to find these they can be tough to come across. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up a private match. So go into options, change the public to private and then load up a mission. The best missions to look for are the ones in the suburbs because you want to be looking for garages and anything like that that are attached to houses. So the type of mission you want to play is anything that doesn't have a timer when you start so don't go for the ones that are kill the encampments or save the survivors anything that you actually have to start the time yourself that gives you enough time to wander around at your own pace not having to worry about the mission so to make this easier on myself I was using my Pathfinder Outlander who has keen eyes which reveals containers that contain valuable objects within two tiles within the zone now this is extremely useful if you want to be running around and farming for certain items. So to actually find rotating gizmos, I found that they were coming out of certain types of chests. So you'll see throughout this video there were the little kind of pale blue chests. They always gave a rotating gizmo. And also the little toolboxes and the kind of bigger toolboxes that you find in the garages. That's why I said to load up an urban mission area and that way you can find a lot more. So I highly recommend using a Pathfinder Outlander. If you don't have one, then just make sure you keep looking in, in the attics or in garages for these toolboxes and also in basements. They kind of appear there most of the time. So once you've found enough or you think you've searched every house, you can just back out. You don't have to complete the mission. You can literally just be quit the game, go back out, and whatever you have in your inventory will stay in your inventory. You do not have to complete the mission. That's why I said load up a private game. Therefore, you can just wander around at your own leisure. You don't have to worry about the mission, and especially if you don't have that timer ticking down as well. So anyway, I hope this video has helped. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other guides you would like to see and I'll be happy to bring them out. Anyway, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one.